Hello and welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the fifth tutorial in soil. We will learn about columns or pressure theory. Columns earth pressure theory is a theory proposed to find the earth pressure. Suppose this is a retaining wall. This is a retaining wall and this is the backfill. Then to support this backfill, the backfill will apply load on the wall and the wall will give reaction to it. Now, earth pressure theory gives a method to find this horizontal force. It can be active earth pressure or passive earth pressure. Suppose this is the retaining wall. This is the backfill. Then active earth pressure means when the wall moves away from it. This wedge will slide downward and outward from the backfill. But in case of passive, the wall will move towards it, the backfill. The sliding wedge will move upward and inward. Column earth pressure theory provides a method of analysis that gives the resultant horizontal force on the retaining system for any slope of wall, wall friction, slope of backfill provided. We already discussed it is the determination of the earth pressure in which we considered the equilibrium of the sliding wedge. This is the slope of the backfill, this is the failure plane, then this is our sliding wedge. And it is maintained in equilibrium due to the reaction on the slip surface, active earth pressure or passive earth pressure and weight W which acts vertically downward. Now, assumptions of columns or pressure theory. The backfill soil is assumed to be dry, homogeneous, isotropic, that is elastically non deformable but breakable as it breaks away from the rest of the soil. The sliding wedge breaks from the rest of the soil. With internal friction, there is friction but there is no cohesion. Cohesionless soil is assumed. Slip surface is a plane surface which passes through the toe of the wall. This is the wall. Then the slip surface will be a plane surface and it will pass through the toe of the wall. But actually the slip surface is curved. So for calculation or simplification of calculation, it is assumed to be plane surface. Since there is friction, the resultant is not perpendicular to the wall but inclined at angle delta which is angle of friction to the wall. The wall may be inclined or vertical. The wall may be rough or smooth. It is applicable for both. The wall the wall is smooth, frictionless and normal to the free and the resultant is normal to the wall in case of Rankine or pressure theory. Now the sliding wedge itself acts as a rigid body. Rigid body means if this is a rigid body and consider any two points within it, the distance between these two body remains same at any given time t. That is, it is non-deformable. The position and direction of the resultant earth pressure theory, earth pressures are non. So, suppose this is a sliding wedge, then PA acts here, then we know it is a triangle, so it will act at your symmetry from this base. Acts on the wall at one third height of the wall from the base and is inclined at an angle to the normal to the back. This is called the angle of wall friction. Now consider this to be the retaining wall. This is the slope of the backfill wall. W is the weight, R is the reaction on the slip surface, 
and PA is the active or pressure. This color represents normal to the surface, resultant and slip surface. Draw slip surface BD. W is the weight of this sliding wedge A, B, D. Draw two lines parallel to the weight at the slip surface and the wall. This is the angle alpha, the slip surface makes with the horizontal, angle beta, the wall makes with the horizontal. Draw perpendicular on the slip surface, which is at angle alpha. You can see here, this is 90 degree, so this will be 90 minus alpha, and since this is also 90, this will be only alpha. Then R is the reaction on the slip surface, which is assumed to act at angle 5 from the normal. Now draw normal to the wall at angle beta and PA is the active or pressure at angle delta to the wall. Now we will draw force triangle. To draw force triangle, we will shift these three vectors 1, 2, and 3 parallelly. This is PA and we will shift it parallelly here. Similarly, R is shifted parallelly here and W weight is shifted parallelly here. Now let's find the angle between these forces. We drew these parallel lines. Now see this. We need the angle between weight and R. So we need we know this is also pi and this is alpha. Then angle between these two will be alpha minus phi you can see here alpha minus phi angle between weight and resultant similarly angle between pa and w would be beta minus delta beta minus delta which is this angle between pa and weight so by drawing this and shifting the forces parallel finding the angle we create a force triangle here we know the magnitude of weight. We know these three angles. Now using the sign law, we can find the force P and reaction R. ABD is our sliding wedge which is in equilibrium due to weight, reaction and PA. PA is determined from the force triangle. As the magnitude of one force weight and directions of all the three forces are known, the force triangle can be completed. The magnitude of PA is determined from the force triangle. The pressure acting on the wall is opposite to the PA. The process is repeated after assuming another failure surface. First assume this failure surface, find the force triangle, find PA, then again assume another failure surface, again assume another failure surface, remember all the failure surfaces are plane and pass it to the tau and repeat the process. Maximum value of PA which surface gives the maximum value of PA is the critical failure plane and the corresponding force is the active force. The largest force is found for the active and the smallest force out of many trials is found for the passive force. The trial is repeated several times. And it is applicable for any slope of the wall, unlike rank time, which is for only vertical. Now, there are some limitations to this theory. 
the PP or passive or pressure estimated is more than the actual and it is on the on safe side so it is not generally used for the passive or pressure theory instead you can use friction circle method thank you for watching please subscribe like share and comment for any further queries click the bell icon to get notification